Captain's Vlog, day one. We have just set sail from Port Brisbane on the Pacific Aria, and in this series, we're going to show you guys everything there is to do on this incredible ship as we make our way to Papua New Guinea. But before we do, let's start at the beginning. Don't, don't go too overboard. This trip's really gonna float your boat. Are you cruising for a bruising or just a holiday? We just boarded the P&O Pacific Aria in Port Brisbane. Now, when you go through customs anywhere, it's never a pleasant experience, what with the big lines and occasional cavity searches. But in Brisbane, it's uh, it's definitely a little bit more difficult than Port Sydney. Also, sailing out of Brisbane, not the best views. You've got the city here, but there's no, you know, harbour bridge and all that spectacular stuff. The ship itself, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go explore. First, we're gonna check it out room. Stick around. Right, gonna have a room tour, guys. We got a uh, couple of cupboards here, some oh, already filled with with clothes. Very good of, of the ladies to do that. More clothes in in this cupboard. Pretty interesting. Here we go. We've got a bathroom. What's got? Oh, we need some light in in this situation. Epilepsy warning in not in advance. A full size bath in this cabin. A shower. Now we're gonna go this way. We've got a uh, a mirror here. Television some non-complimentary water. That reminds me of another cruise. A beautiful uh, lady that comes with the room. Two portholes, double bed, bunk beds here. We've got a, a native Caleb, he also lives in the room here. A mumsy, a mother-in-law. I'm showing you how to survive traveling with your mother-in-law. You, we'll get to that later. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you get on board is book your shore excursions. If you have any, before all the good ones run out, the shore excursion booking desk is next to the reception in the atrium. Then after you've unpacked all your stuff in your room, you want to check out this. This is P&O Good Times. This will be delivered to you daily and has everything fun on the ship. All the, all the good times. You might not have a good time unless you do these things. You probably still will. But do that. Check that every day, definitely. <music> Okay, now that we've explored the room, we're going to go and explore the rest of the ship before we wind down for the day. But before we do, it's time for part one of our new segment, How to Survive Traveling with Your Mother-in-Law. How to Survive Traveling with Your Mother-in-Law. Step one. Make sure you're on a really, really big boat. There are multiple restaurants on board from the pantry, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet, along with Angelo's, an Italian restaurant, and Dragon Lady, a Japanese restaurant, all of which are included in your ticket price. And the food is amazing. So good, in fact, that I, I wanted to film it for you, but it was too good. You also get some incredible entertainment on board. Um, all of your channels are are pretty much as entertaining as this. So dinner was really good, like really, really good, until the waiter started feeding Caleb and Emily. That got a little weird. <laughs> I just embraced it. <laughs> We're about to go abseiling off the side of the ship. Caleb's in the middle of nowhere. Caleb's oh, a little yeah, concerned. Yeah, I'm yeah. Hope to see you in the next one. 